guys, welcome back to another video. Last time we made the sprites, and yeah, we just made the sprites and the health bar in the background. We didn't do much, but this time we're actually gonna program the plane so that it's gonna move and shoot bullets. If you haven't watched the last video, please do so, cause you can't directly skip to this stage. So we did this home screen, S key to start, and you see this. So for the plane, we are going to do when clicked, set X to zero. And we're gonna hide. And then when we receive start game, that time we are gonna show and forever if the key right arrow or D is pressed, so this one or block. Right, let's get D and then right arrow. Then it's gonna change X by 20, or you can change X by anything, but don't make it too fast or too slow. I'll pro, yeah, I'll put it at 20. Change X by 20. And if you press the left arrow key or press the A key, then we're going to move minus 20 steps. So, I mean, not steps, but change X by minus 20. Because steps are the different thing. Minus 20. A or left arrow so when we do this yep now we can move we can make our ship move pretty cool and now let's make it so that uh, yeah the bullet so the bullet's gonna come out of the plane but the bullet's a whole new sprite. The bullet's code is also... I'm also gonna be showing you the bullet's code in this video. So for the bullet... We need a few uh, variables. So it's gonna be... Uh... Now time and shoot time. So when we press the space bar key, the uh, bullet are gonna shoot. So we need to clone the bullet. And also, we need to make the bullet in the direction zero, because now it's in direction 90, and we don't want the bullet to be going like this. It should be in the direction, point in direction zero. And we can click on this block, and it becomes like an actual bullet. And then when space clicked, we set the now time. So set now time to timer. So the current time will be now time. But we are going but we have to first uh, reset timer so when 
start game clicked, it's gonna reset time. Also, when the green flag is clicked, we need to hide. And like, we only set the timer, but we actually need to make it shoot. So what we're going to do is make a clone of uh, ourselves. So the bullets clone, and it's going to play a sound and shoot. So let's get the laser shooting sound. Hey. I think we can get this. Yes. And we can make it so that if Wait, first we need to actually set the shoot time and now time. Now time is going to be set to 0 when we receive start game. So set now time to zero and shoot time. We're gonna like have to time it properly so that's not too fast or too slow. And also it makes clones at the right time. So we'll just set it to 0 0.25. Uh, and then we'll see later if it's actually okay. So if Uh, the now time is equal to shoot time. So if now time is equal to shoot time, or it's no, or now time is greater than shoot time. Then we are going to reset timer and then we're going to shoot the bullet. I mean the laser, whatever you want to call it. So we can reset the timer again and set now time to zero. And create the clone of myself. Where's that? Yeah, here. And also we need to start the sound of the laser. So whenever we press the space bar, the sound plays. Let's just make the sound a bit longer, cause the sound is like really fast, so starting sound is not a very good idea. Maybe we can do play sound until then. Yeah, but that's a problem too. So let's like keep it like this and I think it's not a big problem to put start sound unless you like get annoyed of it but then when we start as a clone when we start as a clone we need to go to Player ship one. So in this case, that will be sprite two. So player one ship and show because we're hiding it when we're starting. Show and then repeat until touching edge. Move 20 steps. Repeat until. 
to touching edge touching edge move 20 steps and we can delete this clone because when it touches the edge or like the top part over here it should uh, delete itself and now when we press s we can shoot we can move and we can shoot yep i'm spam i'm spamming the space key and just moving around and we can shoot okay so that's it for this video next video we're gonna make it so that when the bullet hits the um enemy ship it's gonna explode and we're gonna make the enemy ship actually come at us so please like and subscribe if you like the video and stay tuned for the next one